In the Song of Songs, the lover, the feminine principle, adores her beloved, seeks him perpetually, is moved by him. Her very insides, the innermost parts, the heart knocking, the intestines moving, the bowels surging at his very knocking at the door like the bridegroom come to claim the bride, who knows not when he will come, not the day nor the hour. At his knocking, she rises to open to him, to open to him paths of wisdom within the hidden, internal, feminine, occult, obscure, private paths of wisdom to open to him, yet he withdraws himself. And then she goes out to seek him, reversing the order. And she meets harm because of it and is defiled and desecrated, dishonored rejected and withdraws back within to then be claimed by the beloved and unify with him. This is the journey of the human soul. This is even the journey of Yisrael as a collective whole, deviating into paths of idolatry, sinfulness and transgression and separation searching for the beloved in other faces. Isn't that like us women? Especially when there is a ruptured or distorted relationship with the father or the father concept in a masculine God. Don't we seek the father's face and his unconditional love in other men in our lives, in other ways? Don't we seek to fill that void in many ways? Even men as well. The, it is the human condition to seek in so many different ways to fill the voids that only the creator and that divine union can satisfy and fulfill. Whether we seek it through drugs, through alcohol, through sex, through false friendships through egoic ambitions and aspirations. But it is that longing for divine union 